John, you got your grubby hands on a two-handed war mace, huh? This kind of mace appears in uh, 12th century uh, combat artwork. Essentially, what you've got is just a big iron head. This one's uh, got five flanges or flutes. This is a weapon that relies on sheer brute concussive force. What we've got here is actually the most ancient of weapons, a club. club. In this case, turned into a war club. And you have to keep in mind, it's you're not just, these knights are not just hitting with this weapon. They've got the weight and the mass of that gauntlet and those arm pieces going with them, with the momentum. So it's not just adding to their striking power, it's also going to affect their ability to recover the weapon, to follow through on a strike and bring it around. You're going to see some of them are going to be hitting, bringing it right back, hitting it again. Other times, they're going to have to wind the blow up. One thing about uh, the weapons you'll see in the league, swords are all, uh, we were all sharp weapons back in the, in the day, and they were used for cutting. And here, we, we've dulled the edges, so they still have the concussive force, but they're not cutting through anybody. This is made to scramble your eggs inside your armor. This is a mass weapon, what we call a mass weapon. Mass weapons are made to bring the impact, bring the force through the armor and crush bones. So this will pass force very effectively, more so than a sword, an edged weapon, which will often get dissipated on the edge of a plate. What kind of advantages would I have if I use this mace instead of an axe? Well, this, this weapon has advantages in, in all ranges. At long range, you can choke back and you can hit somebody as they're, as they're closing with you. Or if they're pulling out, you can get another free hit with them. At medium range, you can choke up a little bit and you can still get a, a very hard hit with this. But you can make blocks, half to half blocks. You can also turn a head in, do a pivoting movement and turn a head in. If one of them takes a really solid hit to the head with this, is he going to be able to recover before his opponent gets in that second and third hit? Well, that's that's very possible that somebody could get dazed. And you get dazed with a weapon like that. Somebody, uh, half a second, as you know, can take you out of the fight. A lot of people can do a lot of stuff in that, in that time period. Now, to use this weapon properly at range, like we said, they've got to choke down to get the most out of it. Once there's, there's closure, once they've closed range, they've got to take that double-handed grip to get anything out of this weapon. They can check with it, they can hit with the head, they can grapple with it, put it over the top of the head and pull people down. 